So welcome to this course Applied Ergonomics. My name is Ankur Gupta and I am faculty in the School of Mechanical Sciences, Indian Institute of Technology, Bhuneshwar. I along with Dr. Shantanu Bhattacharya who is professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur will cover this course. So as far as uh, the introduction of this course is concerned, uh, first of all we would like to understand that what is ergonomics and uh, later in later stages what is, is its objective and possible applications. So ergonomics is made up of two Greek words. First is ergo which means work and nomos which means study. So uh, as a combination of these two words if we can define this particular word ergonomics in one sentence that is study of work. So basically that particular uh, work system we can define on the basis of three components. The first is human, second is machine and third is environment. So the combination of human, machine and environment will give you a particular system and our purpose in this particular as far as ergonomic uh, area is concerned, our purpose is to improve the performance of that particular system while studying the various features or various factors that are going to affect the performance of human or machine or environment or combination of any these three. So our whole purpose is to improve the performance by observing and analyzing the various factors involved in the efficiency of that particular system. So here in this whole course we will uh, uh, use the particular word machine although machine is not justifiable word for each and every object but uh, here we will use uh, uh, to understand this particular concept of ergonomics uh, for each and every uh, system which we are taking. So uh, we will use it that particular word machine whether it be uh, if I am taking an example of designing a chair or uh, any automobile vehicle if I am taking example so we will treat it as a machine. So its interaction with the human uh, and uh, its related performance and the factors we would like to understand in this course. So as you can see from this figure, a work system can consist of human, machine and environment and studying about the interaction between them is crucial for making a work system ergonomic. So uh, as far as the course outline is concerned, we will cover this introduction. Uh, of introduction of ergonomics and human machine system, the physical ergonomics, anthropometry, cognitive ergonomics, biomechanics, work environment, some of the research tools and techniques that has been utilized in ergonomics, occupational safety and health in the industrial area and uh, possible applied problems related to this course. So uh, these are the possible key areas we will uh, touch in this subject although it is uh, not uh, uh, sufficient time to cover all the, uh, all the concepts related to ergonomics because ergonomics is a vast area, it is a completely interdisciplinary area which requires a knowledge of uh, physics, uh, chemistry, biology and uh, as well as uh, engineering knowledge. So uh, in this in the nutshell uh, we will be covering the physical work environment in which uh, we will uh, taking care of all the factors that affect the environment. Uh, uh, it can be uh, noise level, it can be uh, the light level and uh, so on and so forth. In organizational ergonomics what are the factors that influence the performance of a particular organization that we will discuss. Cognitive ergonomics what are the factors that are affecting the performance of a particular uh, uh, worker or a human because this cognitive activities include a uh, lot of activities uh, as an example we can take thinking, reading, decision making, problem solving and reacting to the particular situ uh, situation. So that cognitive ergonomics is very crucial part uh, in industries because that uh, as far as auto automation and mechanization uh, has come to the industries. So a quick response uh, of a worker is essential in many cases in order to avoid possible injuries and accidents. 
the physical ergonomic part in which uh, we will discuss about the physiological aspect and uh, the possible rest period uh, that is essential especially in industries uh, when a worker is uh, performing work for a prolonged period of time. So that rest period we will try to calculate as well as what are the metabolism and what are the biochemical reactions that are taking place. So the fundamental of those things we will try to understand and uh, suppose we are performing any physical work. So what are the internal uh, phenomena that is happening inside a body and what are the nutrients related thing that we will discuss here in this physical ergonomics. Because uh, human efficiency is directly related to what we are uh, providing and uh, what kind of work as an output we are performing. So in that particular thing anthropometry, anthropometry is a nothing but measurement of a human being and that measurement is essential in order to design any product. Anatomy is also essential uh, and the biomechanics uh, suppose if you are performing any physical work, so what are the forces and its effect on your body. So that uh, study is coming in the category of biomechanics, physiological aspect and uh, some sort of uh, cognitive psychology. So these all aspects we will try to cover in this course. So basically there are two possible uh, if uh, as a whole if we could uh, define the ergonomic possible application areas. So there are two areas uh, first is work system design and second is product design. So in uh, work system design the main uh, the part is concerning about the uh, industrial work in which uh, we have to take care of the safety, accident avoidance, improved functional performance. And product design we have to make a product uh, taking care of uh, a, uh, a particular objective that is we have to make product user friendly. So these uh, this is in a nutshell we can divide this particular uh, application area as a in a as a work system design and product design. So main uh, what is the purpose of ergonomist? It's, uh, it's, uh, its function is to perform research on human capabilities and its limitations and based on the limitations uh, the possible uh, solution uh, an ergonomist has to provide in order to improve the performance of a particular system which is composed of human machine and uh, related uh, environment interaction. And another work uh, that a, an ergonomist does is the design and explore the engineering application. So emphasize in ergonomics is of the many factors like safety, comfort, interaction between human and equipment, workplace environment, fitting the work to the individual, reduction of human errors and accident avoidance. So uh, this was all about the ergonomics in a in a in a brief uh, view, and now uh, I'm going to uh, uh, just show you uh, what could be the possible content from where uh, you can read about the ergonomics. So mostly uh, this particular course is designed so various books and uh, research papers and various search has been made in order to design this particular course. Then some of the books I'm mentioning here and. Uh, like introduction to ergonomics by R.S. Bridger and uh, work systems and methods measurement and management of work by M.P. Groover and the measurement of man and woman human factors in design and as well as these uh, top four or five books uh, I have referred in order to design this uh, particular uh, uh, course and a special thanks to Google uh, 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 who has given uh, ease uh, to search the matter and uh, bring the matter in a one particular platform. So these are the reference books and matter for this course. So uh, that is all about the summary uh, and brief uh, overview of this particular course. I hope you would like this course and uh, uh, from the next lecture we will start this particular course. Thank you very much.